dear student as i am showing you the different type of list how the list is working i have shown you how the nested dictionary has been converted dictionary uh, the list has been converted into the dictionary now another program i am going to show to you in this particular program okay nested dictionary in this particular program what you will going to find that uh, here the data uh, dictionary values are into the rows okay values to a rows now how values to a rows see here that uh, particular program that will going to conduct see now okay see this particular program how the program is converting it is taking the values and those the values what are there they has been converted into a particular form what i have said import panda spt then i have taken that list what are the list <coughs> there now row equals to the blank space how to append for data in list okay data row equals to data students time equals to name data name isn't it now for row in data row row name equals to time that row appends is row df pd data frame rows then print df now what i am doing here actually that the list what i have initialized first i have taken one blank rows and in the blank rows after taking the values that i am uh, initializing that one one in each rows and i am giving to the values so as i am giving to the values what happens those the exam values those the numbers those the numbers what happen number has been treated as a first initialization that means uh, dictionary values into a row those the dictionary values i am taking each of these dictionary values are formed into a particular row format so uh, indexing does not arises indexing matter you know it now what is how they will going to work see uh, for this first area that exam is 90 and grade is a so 90 a who has scored this particular person has scored so the name is there similarly for the second case also the number is there the name is there okay the third case also number is there name is there and here you see this is the name this is the person and this is the exam marks and this is the one row and this is the another row so each with each of the row the, this name is attached at the last so as the name is attached at the last what you find it that they has taken the values that means the program has taken the values from this particular area where i have run one loop for data in list what are the data in list those are the data in list that means student name again student and names those are the data in list so when those the data are in the list this particular data what you find what you are going to see that each of this data are been taken for one particular phase after that what happen one again a for loop has been run and in this for loop you have seen it that i have included this particular row data that means data row has been added it and now appending it to the row that means the name that the form is there that i have appended into a row so individually they has come with an each and every part and when they has executed you see each and every part that has been converted into a data frame so this the data frame has been converted total thing now has been converted into a data frame so this is what your execution part is okay this is the execution part where you can see it that your data frame has been converted and it has executed so this is the way how you can make the dictionary with the values of the data frame and you can use those data frame in a particular manner of a, or a sequence that you want to describe it that means your this particular uh, loop where you are appending the rows appending okay you are appending means you are adding them you are uh, breaking and making it into a new frame you are making the appending form those the appending that you are doing that appending part loop should be proper okay so you have need to understand this loop and as soon as you understand you will going to implement it so simple very simple thing the data are been converted time equals to date this time i have taken and then i have make into a loop.